A copper bar is placed between two identical steel bars. Determine H in order for the copper to carry half of the load. Okay, well let's do some easy things here first. Let's calculate the area of the uh, copper. And so we have 20 by 100. So we have 2,000 square millimeters. Do the same thing for the steel. And the steel we have H and H, so the total width here is 2H times this dimension here, 100. So we have 200H. Now the problem says that half the load is to be carried by the copper. Well, we can also say then that the force in the copper is exactly the same as the force in the steel, right? Because half of it goes to the copper and half of it goes to the steel. Okay, well we also know because of the geometry here that the displacement of the steel and the displacement of the copper has to be exactly the same. Right, they're moving together. So this is kind of an important statement here. So the displacement in the copper is the same and the steel. So the displacement in the copper is equal to the force in the copper times the length divided by E of copper and area of copper. And do the same thing for the steel. The force in the steel times the length divided by E of steel and area of steel. All right, well, some things cancel. Well, the lengths are the same. And the two forces are the same, right, because each are taking half of the load. And so solving for area of steel, we get area of steel is equal to E of copper, area of copper, divided by E of steel. Okay, so the E of copper is 120 times 10 to the ninth times the area of copper, which in this particular case, I'm going to leave it in millimeters squared. Usually, as you know, I convert everything into meters, but you'll see why I don't have to do that here. Divided by E of steel, 200 times 10 to the ninth. Well, these are the, both the E values, so these, these units uh, completely cancel. So whatever units um, the area here happens to be in will be the area for the uh, steel, okay? The same units. So we end up with 1,200 square millimeters. Well, of course, the area of steel is also equal to this value here, 200H, and it has to be 1,200. So solving for H, we get H is equal to 6 millimeters.